trials bike life so maybe you are in the market for oh, a trials bike I've always thought trials bikes were like the coolest thing So, we found a pretty good deal on this one. So the bike's over 15 years old. It still is just super clean. It's a lot of fun. It's a Beta RR 250. Now when, they, when this model came out, you had the option of like a 250 or the 270 I believe and both bikes were really good pretty popular among their perspective groups and this one of course even though it's way older than the new trials bikes it still has all the same features or similar ones to the new ones you know the new ones they don't have really electric start bikes They have a fan that kicks on automatically. It's a really good fan too. Uh, a lot of the new ones are uh, kickstart. Some of them have switched to the, the right side because that's more conducive. But there are still some companies who make it to be a left start kickstart, which is, it's a little bit interesting. Kickstarting these is something that it took me a little bit. Oh. Oh, here we go. To catch on to, I wasn't like professional kickstarter at this whole thing. There's a prime on these that you have to like prime the pump. Not a joke. It doesn't have a conventional choke in the way you'd think but still a lot of fun a bike that compares to the new bikes and why trials bikes right I think a lot of people have that question. Because, I mean, I think a lot of moto dudes think they're pretty cool. Like they're intriguing and whatnot. But then, you know, a lot of them are like, but why even bother with them, right? I think this bike has already in the little bit of me riding it helped my not just trail skills but motoring skills as well having to stand up for these long periods of time and learning as I'm not very good by no means but I'm still having a lot of fun learning how to get good and I think I got a pretty long time because you know I've set up some stuff in the backyard and 
trying to just improve wherever I can. But I'm still learning. And, you know, there's a lot to be learned in the trials bike uh, wheelhouse almost. Some of the best exercises you can do is just try to stand still. See how long you cannot move. Whew, pretty sandy there. You can go up little rock things like this and just have a ball doing whatever you feel comfortable. A lot of times when you're doing a trials bike Either you're by yourself or you got a buddy. You're all on trials bikes, improving, learning. And you're all kind of at the same level. What's up? Yeah. This bike is just a lot of fun because ever since I was kind of young or starting riding dirt bikes, I saw trials bikes and I thought, hmm, that's pretty cool. And I was like, I want to try that. My dad was always like, eh, no. Then we got a Osa like 280 or something and While that's a good trials bike, for a 10 year old, it wasn't a very good bike to try to learn on, you know? So now that I'm 19, I got this Veda to improve my skills upon and have fun with, you know? And I feel like it's definitely helped my overall balance some of the things that are just super different there's nothing right here as far as tank goes you get really used to it on a motorbike and on trail bikes to grab with your legs uh, there's nothing of of those sorts here on this and so you're kind of left to really your own strength in a lot of ways which is good because you start to develop better skill on the bike overall. Some of the things that are staples of Charles bikes are really, really far away shift levers. So you see how far that was? Pretty far and then pretty close brake levers for quick access. Now, this is kind of like a trial section here. Oh, see? So, you can try anything like, you go to your backyard or at your local track, they got something like this where maybe there's some rocks piled up. You can try your hand, see how you do. Of course, there's no hand guards on Charles bikes which there is reason for that because you know you don't want to have stuff in your way these bars are so wide makes it even more likely to hit stuff so we can try this section it's all pretty grown over but you know 
it's a lot about just having fun and if you find a cheap trials bike or if you got money and you buy a new one you know I still am wearing when I'm at home I wear a like camping like camping pants like outdoor hiking pants with like super old boots that I have and I still have a a closed face helmet which is probably probably need to buy an open one but I got one of the uh, Troy Lee downhill mountain bike helmets which are pretty vented and so that's kind of my Woo! Uh, kind of my take on the whole gear aspect Woo! so the amount of torque that trials bikes have is just insane They have just rip your hands off, like pull right off the very bottom, and something you don't really expect. First time I did a hill, almost looped out because you know I think, oh, it's a good size little hill here, just dirt, no rock or anything. And I was like, oh, I'm going to take it fast and gave it tons of gas and I go, whoa, at the top. So, you got to be careful, nonetheless, on these bikes because, you know, they can really get you. And you can just try out stuff like this, you know, I size this up, I go, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I have a few little obstacles set up in our backyard, just a little little rock section, some good sized palm prom stacked on top of each other, and that's about it. And I just practice, and one of the best things, especially starting early and where I'm at, is not so much of hitting these big splatters or trying to navigate rocky gardens or whatever it's really just maybe going right here just seeing how long I look at my clock and I go okay how long can I take to keep on standing up don't touch the ground and just keep on if you make a point and you say okay how long is it going to take me to get to there and you try to take the longest amount of time you want. I've got a little section in my backyard that I say, all right, from this fence to this fence. And my record is like four and a half minutes or something, you know? Like Tony Bo and Raga and all those people, they could go forever. They could just sit there in one spot, not even have to cover a distance. But it's all about starting somewhere. So when you work on your balance, you start to have way better core strength and focus which then funnels into moto and trail you know a lot of dudes on long trail rides or something they don't stand up you don't really have an option on this if you're wondering to stand up or not you kind of have to so this is like the fire and the flames to jump into to learn to stand up. And I think getting kids on trials bike especially, when they're learning to ride, is probably, if they just want to do off-road, not trying to be fast in moto, one of the best ways to train good uh, skills on the bike and then to be able to have control and a lot of kids, you know, they're like, oh, standing up, scary. Or it, they get tired standing up. If you make them ride a trials bike when they're learning, they're not gonna really gonna have an option. <laughs> so trials bikes, overall, a lot of fun. I really enjoy them. I think more people should ride them 
but they don't because one, there's really not that many out in the market. Two, they're uh, they're kind of expensive. The ones that you do find, there's no way around that. And three, some people just kind of look at them like, oh, ah, uh, that's fine. But I think for any age, it's going to improve something. Now, if you're in your past your prime, past 30, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up a lot of trial skills. But if you're still somewhat young like me, I think your chances of picking up good trial skills and then being able to apply those to other types of riding and racing it's something very easy and a lot of fun you can do see you next time